Hi, I am Linda. In this video, I shall explain how you can reduce your inflammation with cold therapy or also called cryotherapy. It is a therapeutic technique that involves having cold or low temperatures applied to the body, commonly used for arthritis, a group of diseases that mainly has symptoms of joint inflammation. Arthritis affects millions of people worldwide, having symptoms of pain, stiffness, and a decreased mobility and has over 100 different types, with the most common being osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Both conditions have inflammation of the joints that leads to pain and discomfort of two or more joints. Using cold therapy can reduce the inflammation from the joints also it helps with injury, infection, or irritation of a particular area. The symptoms of inflammation can be redness, swelling, heat and pain, in this video I shall explain what is inflammation, why cold therapy, and much more, but first I shall explain understanding inflammation. What are the basics of inflammation, and the natural response to injury infection or disease of a particular part of the body, when you have an injury or disease such as arthritis of the joints? The area of the body becomes inflamed, it happens because the blood vessels widen, causing blood to flow faster, making it look swollen and red licking. Putting a cold item on the affected area will calm down the inflammation and reduce the redness. Inflammation heals the injury by carrying out various actions, such as reducing the injured cell, by clearing out the damaged cells and tissues that is surrounding the area, then it starts repairing the tissue. The symptoms of inflammation include redness, swelling, pain, and warm to the touch, all of which indicate to the immune system that an area of your body needs to be restored to its normal function. When tissues are damaged or infected your immune cells release cytokine. These cytokines release pro-inflammatory substances that attract white blood cells to the area. Here are some cold therapy methods that can help you to understand how the cold therapy works and helps to reduce the inflammation of your symptoms. Number 1. Narrowing of blood vessels Cold therapy causes blood vessels to tighten, reducing the flow of blood to the affected area. Number 2. Pain relief. The cold therapy numbs the nerve endings, which provides relief from pain and discomfort that is associated with inflammation. Number 3. Reduction of metabolic activity. The cold temperatures can slow cellular metabolism, which reduces the production of inflammatory substances and minimizes tissue damage. And number four application methods. Cold therapy can be applied using various methods. The most common ones used are ice packs, frozen vegetable packs, or cold compresses. Cold therapy works on the principle of using low temperatures to induce therapeutic effects on the body. The process involves exposing the affected area to temperatures ranging from minus 200 to minus 300 degree Fahrenheit or minus 129 to minus 146 degrees Celsius. These cold packs are only for a short time. If you are using frozen peas, you must always cover the bag with a towel, do not put the bag onto your skin. The cold therapy can help with reducing inflammation, as it works as an anti-inflammatory effect which means that when your body is exposed to cold temperatures, your blood vessels tighten and reduces the blood flow to the affected area that minimizes your swelling, pain, and inflammation. Number 2. How to manage pain. Cold therapy can act as a natural anesthetic by numbing nerve endings and reducing pain and muscle problems. Athletes commonly use cold therapy for muscle recovery after intense training sessions or competitions. And number three, improving your moods and well-being. Cold therapy triggers a release of endorphins, which are the body's natural feel-good hormones. When cold therapy is applied to a specific area, several key responses occur, such as the narrowing of blood vessels and reduced blood flow to the affected site. Also, it reduces an inflammatory substance to the immune cells. This helps to ease the swelling and redness around the area. The cold also slows down the metabolic rate of cells reducing the production of inflammation and reducing pain. Cold therapy can be administered in many ways. The following are some common methods that can be applied, such as ice packs or ice bath. The cold therapy can also be used through products such as cold gels, creams, patches, 
or sprays that contain menthol or other cooling agents. But they may not be as affected as ice packs in reducing swelling. These are applied to your skin and can provide localized relief. With ice packs or frozen peas, you should always cover the ice pack with a towel before putting on your skin. In conclusion, cold therapy is a valuable tool in managing your arthritis symptoms. By reducing inflammation, numbing pain, or alleviating muscle soreness, the cold therapy can provide relief for you if you are living with this chronic condition. Whether you use ice packs, whole body cryotherapy, gel or cream products, the cold therapy offers a safe and effective way to alleviate arthritis discomfort and improve your quality of life. However, cold therapy may not be suitable for everyone, people with certain conditions, like Raynaud's disease, which is a disease categorized by cold-induced vasospasm of the fingers and toes. You should avoid cold therapy if you have this as it can make the symptoms worse. It is essential to consult with a healthcare professional before using cold therapy or anything new, as it may interfere with your medication. Thanks for watching this video. I am not a medical professional, and this video is for information only. If you have any worries about your condition, you should consult with your healthcare professional. If you found this helpful then please click the subscribe button to follow my channel, and press the bell. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I hope this has helped you in good luck.